Welcome back to The Distressed Princess. I'm Rhonda. And in today's video, I've hit the road and I'm on the hunt for vintage Christmas decorations. I went to three great antique stores on the hunt for the most sought after retro vintage Christmas. I found a list on Google of all the things to look for and I know that I'm gonna find a lot of them. So come along for the vintage Christmas scavenger hunt and we'll see how many of these we can find. I'm starting at the Warehouse Antique Mall and there are three stories to hunt through. The first thing I spotted were some ornaments. They were definitely antique, but I can't be sure that they were shiny bright but one thing for sure that was on the list was glassware. And locked up in a case were in the box, glass tree toppers. I was really surprised to find these and it is a first for me to find these, especially ones that are still in their boxes. And over here in the corner of the case is my very first ceramic tree find. And it's a little bitty one. I've never seen one so small and it doesn't have any lights or anything on it. It's just plain and I really kind of liked it. And to tell you the truth, I didn't even know that bottle brush trees were antique. I thought it was a fairly new thing. But right here on this display, I found two kind of large ones. And then back there on the back top shelf, three small ones. And you can definitely tell when you really look at them that they are indeed retro vintage finds. This one is not on my vintage list. I don't even think it is vintage. I'd be surprised if it was. Let me know if you think it is. But it's a twiggy Christmas tree that I think would be really pretty in a farmhouse neutral Christmas scene. The next one blew me away. It is my first blow mold find of the year and it's the cutest little polar bear, but that's not all. Just wait till you see who is next to him. The Tweety Bird. I have never even thought to look for characters besides Santa and the ones you would expect to find. I didn't know there were Tweety Birds out there to find. I almost didn't notice these because they were up high on top of a cabinet, but here are blow molds number three and four. Here we have our second glassware finding, a little sugar and creamer set with I think a salt and pepper. Now these are ornaments that I typically find in the antique stores. And when they're individual like this, it's really hard to say for me to identify them anyway as shiny bright ornaments. And I, I really wanna think that these are reproductions, but also in this box are some handmade ornaments that are the satiny thread type and people sat and embellished these and put the little sequins and the little um, pearls and things on them and so these I find pretty special. I don't guess that these are any of the most sought after because they weren't on any list, just like the other ones weren't. But I, I like them because they were the kind of balls that were on my grandma's Christmas tree, those shiny satin threaded ones. Okay, so you see those snowman candles back there? I don't know if those are girly candles or not. I've never heard of girly candles until now. So I'm not counting those. I'll put a question mark because I'm just not sure. Okay, can someone tell me how far back these candles go? Did they have them in the 50s? Did they have them in any time before that? I, I don't know the history of them. All I know is they were in my house in the 80s. Alongside some of these, the popcorn art. And this delighted my heart to see in the store. On this wall were some vintage ornaments and these Santas looked pretty old to me, only 49 cents for a four pack. How old could that be? And then some maybe shiny bright ornaments individually packaged. 
This booth here was a gold mine of vintage Christmas goodies. Let's dive in. Here we have our very first Santa mug. And this is a fantastic price on this mug, $1.50. And some of these can resell for $30. Here are some vintage Santa and Mrs. Claus figurines. And one very angry looking reindeer. If you can find them in the box, that's wonderful. This one's not full, but they're still shiny brights. Here we have our fifth blow mold. This is a tabletop blow mold and really not as expensive as I expected. So I'm guessing that the tabletop ones are a little bit more inexpensive. And now we have another set of glassware. These are Libby glasses and they really remind me of the glasses that used to have like the Pringles guy. You remember those? They were red and they had the black Pringles man face on them. I wonder if the same company made those. I'm not really sure if this qualifies as a Santa mug, so I'm not gonna count it, but I really love the graphics on this mug because if you turn it around, you can see that it sort of has a atomic theme to it. It's got some little atomic stars and some other little designs that just really make me think 50s. Not on the Google list, but on my list, anything in its original packaging is pretty cool. I really love it when the vendors know enough about their items that they can put right on the tag what year and maybe even where they came from, like these salt and pepper shakers. I'm not positive how to identify vintage nutcrackers, but I'm thinking that these might be from the International Tree Company. This guy right here, vintage or not, I don't know, but he has a really nice Santa face and I adored him. He was about four feet tall and quite expensive, but he was a really nice Santa. And here's another glassware set. And this one is better than the first one that I found that just had the holly and berries. This one has a whole snowy scene with a sleigh and a barn and reindeer and everything. The whole works. This booth was packed to the brim of vintage Christmas too. This is the sort of angel we always had on top of my tree growing up. So she's special to my heart. And here I found our second Santa mug. And I really think I like this one better. I think I like his face has more detail. These are new to me. I don't remember ever seeing these, but I think they are adorable. And here we have our third Santa mug. And he's a little bit different with his candy cane stripe handle. And right under him is Santa Claus mug number four, but he's not quite as cute. I didn't see these on any list, but the Christmas die cuts are always really neat to me. And they had a lot of these really cute tins everywhere I went. They're reproductions, but still very kitschy and cute. Now, when I was looking for antique tree stands, I didn't expect to find one that would turn your tree. And this looks really, really neat. Look how it's got like glitter in the painted product. I was hoping to see on the tag that it works, but it didn't say if it did or not. And here he is, our very first really truly weird Santa. Something about his eyes just isn't right. Man, I really thought I was onto something when I turned the corner here and turns out they're not shiny brights. They're still old ornaments and they're really cool but they're not shiny brights. That was a lot of finds at the first antique store. I was kind of surprised at everything I found. Now I'm on to the second place. A lot of the vendors in this antique store mixed their antiques with the newer stuff. So there's some new bottle brush trees mixed in with some old antique decorations and made some really cute centerpieces. 
hiding on a back shelf was this weird fat Santa candle. And I still don't know if it's a girly or not. I don't know what markings. I don't see any markings. But yeah. Let me know what a girly candle is and if I have actually found one. Meanwhile, over here is our second weird Santa. What's up with that mouse? I didn't see these on a list, but I think these cardboard decorations are really cool. The Santa mug here is deceiving. I thought it might be a real antique, but I'm just not sure that it might not have come from Hobby Lobby or something. And here's another vendor that put the new with the old, and I think it turned out really cute, this display. And in it is an actual vintage bottle brush tree. So you can see the difference between the tiny one on the left and the one on the right. There were lots of little neat figurines that I loved. I spent a lot of time looking at those. And now when I'm watching this back, I'm wondering if that little Santa in the boot right there is actually a girly candle. In this store, I kept finding some vintage Christmas Avon perfumes. This one even still had some of the perfume left in it. I was really excited to find this one because in my inspiration pictures that I looked at online, there was a set kind of like this and I thought it was so neat. And here's another set, but I don't like it quite as well because it's red. And oh my shabby chic dreams. I can't tell if any of this is really vintage, if it's all reproduction, a mixture of the two. I don't know, I don't care, but I love it. Is this not the most adorable pastel color Christmas decorations you ever saw in your life? As soon as I saw these, I thought, no, that package looks a little too new to be old. Look how shiny that box is. But they do make reproduction bubble lights. If any of you all are interested, they are online. And now I found them in the antique store. Now I've lost track. I don't know what number Santa mug this is, but I'll put it up on the screen. I don't know why, but I feel like this is a special Santa mug. It says Dalton on the bottom, which I've looked up and I can't find that spelling of Dalton. I can't find this exact mug, so I don't know if it's worth anything or not, but I think he's pretty cool. And here's the next blow mold. It was in such wonderful condition that I had a really hard time believing that it was old. So I'm not going to count it in my finds, but I did admire it. And that concluded all the shopping at the second store. So here I'm on my way to my third store. It's called the White Cotton Antique Mall. Don't you love that? And the cute little gravel road that goes up to it. I just love coming to this place. The owners of this place are so friendly and helpful every time I'm there that it makes shopping here so much fun. And this store contained all the big ceramic Christmas trees I was looking for. And this is the biggest find of them all. This is not an ordinary ceramic Christmas tree. This one has the birds and it's plugged up so I can turn it on and show you what it looks like lit up. And this is really a rare vintage find. I don't know why I ever thought that these blow molds would be hard to find because I found so many of them today. Even a Mary and Joseph. And here I was duped. Of course, it looks like a new box. I should have known better. It's a reproduction box of shiny bright ornaments. Now we had a set of Coca-Cola glasses growing up, but these are Christmas ones with little holly and Christmas bells. And here's some lantern blow molds. 
And I believe that if they made reproductions of these and they were black instead of red, like street lights, then everyone would buy them. And two more very vintage, very old ceramic Christmas trees. I couldn't believe my luck that I was finding all these. I always like the white ones better. Do you like the white ones or the green ones better? And here's another one. And I saw that the average price of these was ranging from $75 to $100, the ones that I saw. I thought this one was really interesting. A whole set of the 12 Days of Christmas drinking glasses. And the last find was this carnival glass eggnog set. Now I'm not certain what era this came from, but I'm sure it was fancy to have. And here's how it all shakes out. I couldn't believe that I didn't find any aluminum Christmas trees and no color wheels. But I tell you, it really was exciting every time I came across something else that was an actual antique and this makes the scavenger hunt so much fun. So I'm inviting all of you to take a screenshot of this list and go out and see what you can find. I had a lot of fun making this video and I hope you all had a lot of fun watching it too. If you want to see some vintage Christmas DIYs, click the link that I've provided for you right here and I'll see you next time. Bye!